Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here again in the Cursed Estate and it is a solemn day. Last week we had significant, significant errors in judgement. Our overconfidence was sure a killer and yeah, yeah things went bad. Really, really, really bad. Uh, we unfortunately lost one of our greatest heroes, Kimber. She was beloved by a lot of people, and one of our greatest healers that we had. Um, our second death so far, but it is what it is. This week, we are going to have to entirely focus on this number right here. We have very, very little money, and we need to make more. Uh, we might even have to sell a few trinkets before we go out, which I'm already low on, so it's not great. <laughs> it's not great if we have to do that. Um, but it might, it might have to be the case. But yeah. Things did not go well. We have a lot and a lot and a lot of diaries to get into based on what happened last week. We're going to be taking out Uriel and Pandas um, and stuff like that in these episodes to get these guys leveled up a little bit. Also, Garzon as well. Um, but anyways, let's jump right into it. We have a diary entry that I actually didn't get to last week. Um, this is by Dr. Sanvis Junkie and this is a Fate Predefined, a Puppet Master production. So this is actually to do with the um, Puppet Master theatre that we got going on previously, the puppet theatre. Um, this is going to be a sort of a storytelling device that people use um, from now on, so it's going to be pretty cool to see. But we'll get right into that and then we're going to kind of get into the slightly more depressing matters of people's diary entries regarding the death of Kimber, because some people have some things to say and some of it's rather sad, uh, but it's it's what we got to get through. Um, either way, let's jump straight into the first Puppet Master production here. Every year on her birthday, Belissa's ancestor would come to visit her, often bearing gifts, trinkets, and baubles from his travels across the globe. During every visit, um, he would have quite a heated debate with her father, locked in his study. She'd hear her name often during these discussions. On Basilla's 10th birthday, her ancestor came just as usual, bearing only one gift, wrapped in fine cloth and stamped with a wax seal, bearing the family seal. What is it? she asked, accepting the present and testing its hefty weight. Still unsure what to make of this gift. Her ancestor smiled through his beard, simply nodding for her to open the curio before casting a glance upon her disapproving father. Despite his obvious objection, Alyssa's father didn't stop her daughter from taking or opening it. Touching it even through the cloth made her fingers tingle and stomach turn. She didn't like this feeling, but she could, uh, couldn't bring herself to not open the thing. Her clumsy fingers cracked the wax seal and began to unfold the cloth allowing it to drop to the floor at her feet as she admired what, what it was hiding. A term, bound in leather, with a depiction of some sort of tendril on the front, and, a hev um, and heavy in the small of her hands, her hands of its rece um, recipient. Her ancestor's hands land, uh, landed, a landed her hands on her shoulder, looking on her gift with wonder. Study its text, practice its teachings. You and this term are bound by fate. You will change the course of this world with it. Very, very interesting indeed. And now we have our first diary entry from Penn Simmons. This is by uh, Kimber. This is actually the writer of Kimber as well. Master, I saw you in a dream. Standing in the middle of the battlefield where you lost your life. You were smiling. A content smile. Were you trying to tell me something? Trying to give me peace over your death? Maybe you are saying that dying to let others live, live is a good death? Good death. Sounds like madness. I'm sorry, I'm writing from a dark place. There's a new ringmaster trying to oust Eileen, and Eileen has accepted the challenge with her familiar wide grin, but her teeth were gritted, and she didn't ask me to join. She just said it as if it was a foregone conclusion. Something is wrong, I feel it. Eileen said it's just an imposter trying to steal the throne. I've, I've heard talk of this ringmaster. She fights daily with two mad puppets, and not the hand... Um, and not the hand puppets Eileen used to cheer us up with. These are weapons of violence, and this woman, she isn't an imposter. She's earned the respect of the circus while Eileen was away, and is now wanting to earn the title. This is Eileen versus the Butcher all over again. And I think Eileen knows, knows it, but is hiding it. I go with her without complaint. I choose the estate as my battlefield, and these mad warriors as my brothers at arms. I am scared. As I approach the ring, I can smell fresh blood in the air. I can see bodies being dragged from the tent, but I see you out in the battlefield smiling, and I know there's no other place I should be. I will keep these soldiers alive, Master, like you did. 
always your student, Kimber. Oh god, that fills me with dread. <laughs> I'm so upset. I can't believe- I just- oh god. I feel so, like, heavily for these characters. I mean, this is why I love Darkest Dungeon. Um, I feel so heavily for these characters that it's just- it's- it's truly saddening when we lose one of them, especially, like, this deep in. When we lost Arashad, it was sad, but we didn't really know him all too well, but Kimber is someone we'd got to know fairly well, and the other characters had got to know fairly well. It really puts a damper on things. Right, let's figure out what we're gonna sell, because we do need to sell some- some, uh, trinkets here to make sure we can afford to go out. Um... That's kinda good. We don't have a runaway yet, let's sell that. Um, Lemia but with the dodge isn't great. Houndmaster with the dodge, not great. This should be enough to go out at least once. Right, let's embark and we're gonna be taking by the way, we are gonna be end we are gonna end up over leveling. Um over leveling our antiquarian here. Where where is our antiquarian? Where are you? Where are you? Wait, what? Can we not take her out? What? Did a week not pass previously? Is she st Bloody hell. Um, what, what, what was she treating? I think we're going to have to take her out. Cancel the treatment. We, we're gonna, we, we need her. We need to take her out. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. Right. Okay. So. Viara in the back. We'll take... Uh, Gauzen here as our healer. Um, let's just have a look at her skills for well, just a minute. We definitely want to use the main course. Um, it's going to heal others and it's also going to heal at the end of battle. Uh, we also have this, which is buff target. Um, steals restoration, though. That, that's to heal ourselves. We use entreatment here as well. And then we can also go with Force Guard by Allies. Interesting. We can also go with one of these two. We'll go with the. Uh, we'll go with it, this. Okay, so that's that's fine there. We'll go with Uriel up front, and we'll go with Pandas in the middle. Uh, let's have a look what we want to do here. Okay. Um. Deck stab is fine. Do we have anything to push you back a minute? Let's let's just quickly rearrange your skills. We'll go with punish. We'll go with reign of sorrow. We'll go with um. We'll go with this, and then hmm. I guess we'll go with reclaim as well, just as a self heal. And then here we'll go. We don't- I don't really think we'll get much use out of Finale here. I think we're gonna go with, um... Harvest. Yeah, I, th I think this is a good setup here. Okay, and then Viara's got the normal setup and you've got this. Okay, so healing-wise, you're gonna want that. And we'll give you the resistances as well, I think. Um, where, where are they? It'll uh, give you the resistances, although that does lower your speed a little bit. Um, 6 to 10. Yeah, we'll go with damage on you. You can get the double damage. You can take the uh, the debuffs. We don't have any way to stun, so that's not super useful. Bleed amount applied. Um, that's pretty good too. The death blow resist is kind of scary, but bleed amount applied is nice. I think we'll take those two. Um, and I think, Viara, you want to be taking the 25% prot, and you want to be taking the 25% extra HP as well. Okay. I think we're decent there. I think we've got some good stuff going on. Weep Griff on life, plus uh, this weak heart it does scare me a little bit, but we're going to hope that people don't get down to that level. We're hoping not to lose anyone else here. Um, and we're going to be going somewhere where bleed is applicable. Um, which would be Warren's. Uh, I think we want to go freaking eight pounder there. We'll go medium here first, I think. We could go medium apprentice. That would be easier. Um, but 
actually, I never remember. Is bleed good in the curve? It's not, is it? It's, it's blight that's good in the curve. We'll go, we'll go wield first, I think. Um, and we'll, we'll set off and see how we do. Grab our provisions. We're going to want um, 20 food. The, the problem here is going to be the amount of money it costs to do all this. Um, oh, we've not checked for camping skills, actually. Oh, we have removed disease. It's self-only, though, unfortunately. Remove disease. We don't have any prevent nighttime ambush in this crew, unfortunately. Like, even available to us. I think we're just going to have to accept that for what it is. I think we're just going to have to accept that for what it is. Uh, right. Um, nope, don't want that. Uh, three, three, three. Three. Two. And torches, we want... Take 12. Okay, right. Let's go. This is a kind of weird build, I've realised, but I think this should be fine. Um, basically, we're going to be using Harvest and then Deck Stab as we need it. We're mainly going to be using the Battlefield Ballad. Um, which one's better, actually? Slice Off is maybe a little bit better because it's single target. I'm going to take Slice Off instead. One minute, let me just rearrange these. Do that, then that, then that, then that. It's not, a, it's not an amazing build. Wait. Oh, Battlefield Ballad can only be used in... These two can only be used in the back two positions. I didn't realize that. How do you fare over here? Your... Never stab works from anywhere. That only works in the back line. Where do you fare best? Can you can you go in position three? You can go in position three. Okay. So this this kind of re this kind of rejiggers everything. Right. Can I not move these guys now? Oh, I'm gonna have to redo all my provisions. God damn it. Um right. You wanna go here, and you wanna go there. And I think that sets us up just fine. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we've got to redo all our food again. 20, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, and 12. Okay. Okay, we are back. We're ready to go. This is kind of scary, but we're just going to have to go for it. I'm not liking having a Prevent Night to Ambush, I'll be honest, but we'll just see how this goes. We'll jump on in. Oh, wait, what? Crying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road. And so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. I did. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor. And a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. Why did it select this mission? Oh! Why? This isn't what I wanted to do at all. Okay. This isn't great, but we'll see how it goes. Of course, that's empty. Great. Another this is not a good... This is not a good Another crew for this. Not a good crew for this at all. Oh, what? Why have both things been looted already as well? Fuck's sake. Okay. This isn't good. Considering all these enemies have good bleed resist as well, this really doesn't work very well for us, does it? Why? Why would you do that? Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with everyone? Oh my goodness. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength. Oh my god. This has all gone very pear shaped very quickly. Why did it put us into this mission? 
Why does it not default back to the mission that I just had selected? Why? Why would it not do that? Oh my goodness. Just infuriating. The blood quickens. Also, stop trying to goddamn stun everyone. Stop. Please. I need to hit with these people. Don't you dare. We actually bled that guy. Good thing we, we redu reduced their bleed resist. That's nice, at least. Heal you and steal your restoration. Also gives you some more restoration back, apparently. Okay. Oh, my God. Dodge. A time to perform beyond one's limit. We can do good damage with just the hit there, and oh my god, we do a lot of bleed with that. It's nice. No stun, good. Got that resist going. Lights everyone. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Just ten for one round. Okay, this is this is actually not so bad. Slowly, okay, this is actually not so badly. This is how a life is taken. Everyone's on seven stress. Another abomination. Cleansed from our lands. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, the amount of stress that I have put on myself here. It's, it's too much, man. It's too much. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Another fight here. We'll take the Thrall clear. first. Stress isn't that bad because we can clear stress reasonably easily. Get that dodge going. The dodge, the fact that we have the dodge and the buffs here, because doesn't this provide dodge as well? No, it doesn't. It provides speed though. Speed is good. Speed is really good. Doing care look, that's fine by me. So, I could do that with damage received and stuff. It's kind of interesting for a mark party, actually. Pop that on you, give you some restoration. Inspiration Start our cooking. And improvement. Okay, don't worry about that too much. Stress wave. I didn't know you could do stress wave on multiple enemies at once, my guy. That's a bit bit much, but luckily we dodged it anyways. Let's do this. Keep keep on going with this. Probably should have done a stress relief there, actually, but oh well. Why do you always go for him with a shocker? Leave him alone. He's going to die next round. Go for them too. Got to bleed on one of them. Dude, this severe move swing, mood swings thing is is brutal. Um, here you are. A death by inch. Oh my god! A lot more stressful than it has to be. Don't know what buff this is we get from this, but I'll give it to. Uh, we give it to our good guy, the flag, straight away, Uriel. I think this guy's just going to be buffing and stress healing most of the time. Of skill and purpose. Good. At least we're lowering the bleed resist as we go. I don't know why I did 10 before. I just did 8 this time. Did, is there a move that, like, buffs the amount of uh, blight that I do? Ah, oh, there you go, yeah. Buff self 25 blight. Okay. I see that now. 
still though, this guy's near to dead. As the fiend falls, Great on that guy for the stress the heal. Hope blossoms. You're dead. Executed with impunity. Restoration there as well. Eradicated. Be wary. Right, you can take this. Pride precipitates a dizzy ah, that was just a stress heal. Okay, that, that kind of worked out, actually. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the boss here. This is like... like th These characters... Okay, we got this boss again. God damn it. These characters are doing surprisingly well, considering. Um, still, this is a little scary. Especially coming up against this little mini-boss here. Wasn't expecting or prepared for it. We're not going to bleed him for a little while here, but we'll keep trying to lower that bleed resist. He resisted the lower bleed resist, God damn it! Makes our dude here not super useful. Um, I'll try that out. He did take that, nice. Okay, that's good. Ha! That just, oh, that's horror. Okay, horror's not so bad. We're fine with that. The birthplace of dread. Keep going with that dodge. Keep going with that buffs. Accuracy, speed, and crit's really nice. Keep increasing that crit chance. Ah, no dodge, unfortunately. It did even pull us forward, too. We can deck stab now, though, from the back, right? We can. Nice. Awesome. Right. We heal. It gives us light as well. It gives us torch. Didn't think about that. It's going to stun us, isn't it? Ah, oh, no. We resisted. Nice. He is bleeding now as well. Even more so. You're bleeding a little bit, but it's not so much. Deck stab for a good bit of damage there. This guy's actually not too bad for us right now, but he does have a second phase, so we can't really just take it as it is. Yeah, there you go. Gives us some stress. Throw that on you. Do this for the resistance debuff. The Undertow. Ah, oh, you. I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's not so bad for a few of our characters, but for others, it's real bad. Dirk stab. Keep, keep on with that. Ooh, to a crit there. Blow. Okay. Maxi Lur. Can't move us. We're locked in cooking our stuff. It's kind of funny that she can even move when she starts cooking, to be honest. He's all out of bleed now. Buff that up. Yeah, not great to get a mini boss here at all. Still didn't bleed him. Undertow again. We dodged that this time though, that's lovely. Exit cooking mode to give a big heal and a big blight. It's 12. Oh damn, okay, that's good. Oh, for God's sake, on my healer as well. Why? Why? <laughs> we did get an ancestral trinket Success from that, though. So nice. Um, or is it merely a trick of the light? Get rid of that. Oh my goodness! Hear that off of us as well. Don't need to be taking any more damage than I'm already taking. Bunch of bastards. Did you get the surprise though? I could heal you. Um, I think it's better off we do this though. Got a bleed on you. Good. Get the dodge going. Get the buffs going. Should probably do some stress healing soon. Got a few people that are stressed out. 
I've got no good way of healing myself until I set up this restoration, sadly. Stress away, it's mostly fine. Ah, it's getting there, though. Stress is getting there. Don't do it. Why? She's so nearly dead up. Leave her alone, please. You evil bastards. I'm going to have to heal her up. It's only two, but it's just going to keep her in the fight. Leave her alone. We have to do this now. And then it's... Do that and steal your restoration. We got overfeeding, which is good, I think. It looked like it was good. Don't attack her again. Don't you dare. More dodge, please. Nice. We got the bleed on there as well. Awesome. Start doing some stress healing. Okay. I think we we do that again on her and steal the restoration again. Pumps us back up. Good. What? Just leave her alone, please. She's just trying to cook a simple meal. Oh my goodness. Why? From becoming unwound. This... Oh, this game. It's, it's absolutely brutal today. Leave her goddamn alone. That was a very good hit. Nice. Didn't bleed him though, goddammit. Fucking leave her alone! Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. My fucking god! Being so frustrated. Just, just attack someone else. Anyone else. Please. Just focus on someone other than the cook. She's just trying to make a homely meal. Is that so hard to ask? I have to get rid of him because he's doing so much damage. That's you dead as well, nice. Be gone, fiend. Oh my god. Stressful fight. As victories mount, it's trapped. So too will resistance. Can't be dealing with this. Too much stress. 60. Okay, you got 100. Nice. After this, we'll read some diary entries. because I don't want to camp, really. So we'll put that off. Okay, this guy's got to go straight away, because he is just terrible. He just does so much damage, and he loves our cook. Buff going out. Um, I think we just start cooking. Tune is fine here. Ooh, that's, it's a shocker that you're going for her. It really is. She, she resists the stun, though. She's got a lot of resists going on. That's good. Thank God you didn't block this guy. Blow down does so much damage. It's good that we dodged it there. Gouge. Oh shit, we got our first person with the plague here. Nice, you're dead. Oh, I didn't bleed you. No, you're not dead. God damn it. Blood down misses, luckily. Take you out. Yeah, so this is interesting. Basically, we have this curse now, uh, which is kind of like the Crimson Curse. We get le less maximum HP, extra stress, less blight. We get plus one speed, 15% damage. Um, and bleed. We do have hair of the sea dog we can use to get rid of that eventually. Are you up for now? First person to get it. Surprising. What's his health like? 25. Not good. Not good.
Let's get rid of some of your stress. It's getting a little too high up there. Nice, good bleed. Okay, we're going to use this on someone. And then we're going to do this. Which is going to blight you. Yeah, that kills everything. Good. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. 20, 25. Okay, on you. And all of you go down. Why not? Take that as well. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh my god. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. We'll leave Citrine for now. Do I come back for this with a shovel? Yeah, I do. I'll leave it for now. But yeah, let's do some dire entries here. We've got more to go at. Another one from Pen Simmons from Eileen. I'm not the ringmaster. I failed. My hands are shaking. I can't get that smile the new ringmaster had uh, as she pulled Kimber away as the price of my surrender out of my head. She should have taken me. I feel it when we were walking in. Kimber must have sensed it because uh, my smile did not bring comfort. A while I and Orwell did not come back the same. I didn't come back the same. I chose the wrong team, choosing style first, choosing sure before strength. The ringmaster didn't even have champions, just those puppets. I need to get stronger. This isn't a game anymore. I need to know these people who fight by my side. I need to understand them and not just use them as side characters in my failed sure. Awesome stuff. And then we have one from our while I here. The world lost something beautiful today. Kimber Morgan, the purest soul I've ever known. Lost to the needless bloodshed of performance. We weren't ready for the butcher. How could we be? Nobody could be ready for that. Even Eileen was shocked at what we sh what she saw what she saw. What the new butcher um, had achieved in her absence. It should have been me. My mind was slipping, my body was failing, and my heart had already given out once. I was ready to stay so the others could leave, but she chose to be first. I should have overruled her. Grabbed her and thrown her into Eileen's arms so they could escape, but I didn't. I couldn't. I'm a coward. I failed that woman. I failed her big friend Chaos by letting her die so needlessly. I failed everyone she could have helped down the line. If anyone here deserved to live and see the end of this nightmare, it was Kimber. I hope that even with her grisly death, she, um, her spirit finds peace. Eileen takes up her show like it was the grandest place in the world, but it's not. It's just more of the same I've always known. Blood and dirt, but for an audience. I think I'll have to tell her I'm not interested in fighting in her little show after all. Got. Damn. Some good stuff here. Wow. Right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Another fight. Luckily a little bit of an easier one this time, hopefully. Just, you might as well just, like, ignore every other member of my team. Because, yeah, like, who's ever going to fight anyone else but her? Realistically. Go for that. We got the bleed off straight away. That's nice. Nice. Just get you dead straight away. Because you just do potentially so much damage. I don't want to deal. Get to cooking. Keeping everyone topped up. I like the fact that it gives us torchlight as well. That's so nice. Insta kill there as well. Awesome. Pandas is doing very, very well. You bleed just the same. You actually didn't go for it this time. Wow. Everyone heals. I love that attack. It's so good. Fifteen, seventeen. Okay, we'll just do it on ourselves. Nice. Beautiful. Easy taken care of there. Foolish horrors. This is 5% death lower as this. Driven into the mud. Uh, 
handsome reward. Still not getting as many uh, well bits of money as I'd hope. Antiques and stuff. Oh my god. Map inside is rather nice. Let's see what's ahead of us. Trap is not great. I'm going to have to use the thingy on that. steps are the exception and not the rule. Okay, another not great fight. Don't stun, please, off the bat. That would be horrible. Just go for a kill straight off the bat on you. I think I'm going to do the same with their pandas as well, actually. Just go for kills straight away. Yeah, both of them are dead. Awesome. Get that dodge going. Let's start off the cooking. The light, the promise of safety. So you can protect them all you want, but they're both dead. Makes our life a hell of a lot easier. Thank god you're only doing two damage. That prot is helping out a lot. I don't know how these guys are going to fare against the boss. That's my biggest worry right now. No bleed, but crits received is added. Good, good. I've not got too much health left. I think we'll just do this. We got overfeeding on a few too, pe few too many people now. Let me. I need to see what overfeeding does. Overfeeding, max health minus speed, and we got that on someone else as well. Yeah, max health minus speed. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And there's a crit, lovely. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow we'll use a shovel here now. Killer. Dude, why am I only getting one minor antique pair thing I open? Normally you get like five. Really? I, I, I find it hard to believe that anyone needs food right now. <laughs> food checks maybe should be disabled when you're playing with the cook. Which would be quite powerful, I realise, but still. Like, it's a bit silly. Just care about money at the minute. Don't care about busts or portraits or anything like that. I like the fact that she has that compulsive thing that makes her grab it. Like, like I wasn't going to grab it with her anyways. In radiance, may we find victory. Right. Let's. We're going to have to see how this boss goes. I don't know how prepared I am for this, but we'll just have to see. It's 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 a weird one. Give it a go. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders. I'm thinking with the bleed, once we can get it set up, it's not so bad. That's a really good dodge as well there. Everyone buff with the speed. Accuracy is also nice. This guy's also slightly reworked from how he normally is, um, I think. He did get the bleed straight away there. Yeah, I think I think with bleed we should be okay here. We'll see. Dodging will help out a ton as well. We've got Repurse now. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on with this little guy now because I've got this rework. Apparently, so the reason I have a rework enabled for this guy is apparently there's some, um... There's some strange potential bug with modded when you're fighting this boss specifically. So that, that I had to deal with. More bleed, good. Dodge is going to be super important here, so I'm just going to keep piling that on. That's a crit for more bleed. 18 over 5, that's great. Oh, they only took 5 damage there, I'm confused by that. Um, Heal for a little bit, steal some restoration for ourselves. Unity. Good dodge. The dodge is helping out a ton. Anchor smash. Exactly. The dodge is just insanely good. Some stress. He resisted the horror though. Nice. And the move. You have so many moves. 
Does that make bleed good or like a boss having more moves? Does that make bleed better or worse? I don't know. Even more bleed. Good, good. Stop hitting other people, you fool. 18 over 3. Yeah, so why does he only take 9 that round? It's 18 over 3. Why did he take 9? I'm confused by that. It's taking 9 again. Someone needs to explain that to me because I don't really get it. Drink with the dead. Dude, these dodges are so goddamn clutch right now. Look at this. This guy's like barely had the chance to hit us. More bleed. His bleed's pretty much reset now though. We got him halfway dead already. I want to set the big blight on him, but I don't want to give up my ability to heal. That finally hit, but we resisted both the stuns. Oh my god, the dodges! No bleed there, unfortunately. No bleed there either. That's real unfortunate. Another dodge there. Eve 2. Another dodge. That one actually hit this time. Should be fine with the uh, restoration we've got going on there. Unity. Another dodge on Unity there. That, that must have a quite low accuracy as a move because that hasn't hit once yet, I don't think. Hit the bleed, nice. I need to up my torch as well here. No stun again, awesome. More bleed, good, good. Another dodge on that, perfect. Extra stress. Heal you up a bit, get some healing for myself. It's kind of a slow battle, but it's going fine. I don't know if I'm meant to be dealing with this guy, but because of the dodges that we've been getting, I don't think there's any need to. Oh, we finally got that horror. I don't know what All Hands on Deck is meant to do, but it's whatever it's doing, it doesn't seem to be doing it correctly. God damn it, no bleed again. Can't really complain when I'm hitting these dodges, can I? And these resistors from from stuns. There's that bleed, lovely. 16 HP. He finally hit Munity. <laughs> Don't know what that does for him, but he finally hit it. I think at this point we'll uh, end the cooking, get out the damage there. And that's pretty much him dead. I've really let him one damage. Okay, you th I think you're dead next turn. Wait, what? There's like nothing. What, what the hell happened there? Why did that not kill you? Either way, this will, if it bleeds. It did. Okay, you're dead now. You, you have to be dead. How aren't you dead? I don't understand how bleed works on this guy. How is he not dead? He had so much bleed on him. I jumped the gun on ending my cooking. Anyways, this, this, went, this went surprisingly well, considering. Don't really know how we accidentally. Oh, we actually have to kill this thing. Okay. Far beyond the light's reach. Wouldn't have expected that, but there you go. We just did 20 damage to it, so that's good. Resilient and pure light. 
I'm guessing I have to play in darkness then with this guy. I don't really have my heels going at the minute because I gave up my cooking because I thought we're done. But you're dead now, good. Wow, yeah, that went uh, that went well somehow. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. What the hell? I just want to continue adventuring and quickly check my map. Yeah, let's quickly just check these out. Ah, damn it, I just gave those away. That's annoying. Sam, there, nice. We all, we also god damn it we can't open that either. Anyways, we'll end this quest here. Wow, that was something. That was something. We 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 got ourselves whatever this is. Oh shit, that's pretty good. 30% healing skill. Nice. Very unexpected here, but we beat a boss by accident. <laughs> oh my god. We got member. decent money now. We got anyone else want to bring on? We have a a new mender. If we want to bring on a new Kimber, I don't know if I could see myself do that. Um, Cataphrac is kind of an interesting one. We'll bring on a Cataphrac. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, we'll bring on a Cataphrac. I don't think I can bring on a new mender quite yet. I just I can't see myself doing that. Ooh, just a stick. Right, okay, let me quickly pause and sort out our next adventure. Okay, I put together a party. I think we're ready to go. We're bringing Viara again. I realize she's going to get overleveled here. It's just going to have to be how it is. We need money real bad. Uh, we're going to bring out Artemis here with the double healings for 65% bonus healing. That's going to be nuts. Uh, we got this here. He's. It's kind of funny that... She's got one of them, and then he's got two of these. So we've got all the extra um, skill chances and resists. Mainly for the resists rather than the skill chances. Um, and then we've also got the Metal Highwayman, which is that 40% scouting chance. Uh, we're mainly going to be playing with Duelist Advance and Point Blank. And then we've got Anya here with just the 40% bonus damage um, and a little bit of crit. Um, and then just using her regular moves, seeing how that goes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to say, pretty good stuff. With this, we have... 65% scouting chance, and I think we're ready to go. So, let's... Uh, and also, we're, we're doing a um, Warren's medium mission. Um, not a boss this time, goddamn. And we'll jump out again here. And let's go into some more diaries that we've got. So, we've got another one from Nyx here. Why does it hurt so bad? I didn't really know her. We fought together a couple of times, but I was always deep in my studies, and she hung out with Chaos and Hestia. Not exactly my kind of group, but she reminds me of my younger sister before the ritual. So bright and caring. Never treating anyone differently, no matter their past. She was always present in the moment. Now she's gone, killed by a madwoman in a blood sport uh, to the cheers of hundreds. It's not right. It's not right that I never chose to know her. How many weeks has it been? Her treating our wounds, risking her neck in fights more brutal and horrifying than anything she deserves to see. She faced the chaos of this life with a determination rarely seen. I can't hide in my room anymore. I can't lose another without ever knowing the sound of their laugh. I think I heard Kimber once calling us all brothers in arms. I chose blood over all, and that was a mistake. And not only uh, one I will make, and, and not one I will make again, sorry. And then we got another one from Chaos here, from Rockerin, Chaos the Threll. A dead calm lingers in the estate, mood of mourning, lingering pang of loss. And the brute sits on his knees in the mud for many hours in the rain after the funeral. No body, only a stern. Many words but only one he clearly sees, Kimber. A resounding, long and pained roar breaks the silence. The father comes out uh, as the rain slows, approaching him. She was a good soul, Chaos. A true. Chaos turns, uh, Chaos turns, eyes red, showing the rain has been masking the many sheds of tears. His face now twisted with pure rage. Where is she? He lunges and grabs the priest. You're hiding her in your church. 
Chaos, please. I'll rip her apart. Blood for blood. Give me Eileen. It takes a full ten men and many injuries to subdue the man, dragging him to the jailhouse for protection from himself and others. Eileen, he bellows. I know you hear me, coward. You sent a sheep to the slaughter. Now hide from the um, now hide from the blood-drenched wolf. You beg for God to forgive you, but I will not. The guards drag him away, the priest seeing the agony, heartbreak, and pure hatred in his eyes. Okay, that one is, is something else as well. Uh, Chaos is not happy at all. Draw power from their not happy at all. Idols. Tear them down. Yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely not something that he would ever want to see or happen, but it has. Glittering gold. And he is and not bubbles. happy about it at all. Paid for in blood. Like I said, we do have insane scouting chance here, so it should be good. Bit of money there. You've got a good trap design, right? Indeed you do. This is just more money runs we're going for here. So long, it's going to be a long episode, I realise, but it's got to be done. Uh, we got to do the animal shrines. Let's go back the other way first, actually. Curious, uh, sorry, Curious. Um, scouting is actually really good for, uh, why'd you do that? Oh, artistic, God damn it! Forgot you had that. Probably not the greatest person to bring along with us. Um, but yeah, like, it's going to scout the Curious for us. Not a fan of that surprise. Unfortunately, we have inattentive with Arya here. Anya here, sorry. Of course, we keep that dodge going. Set up that repurst. You went for him and he has the repurst, you fool. You fool. And again. Move it forward there. And then heal for 10. Yeah, we're healing for nearly double. <laughs> Pretty great. Our healing situation is in a much better spot than it ever has been. We're able to heal up very consistently and very easily. Um, is it Steam Vent that does... Yeah, it does some, some self-damage, but it's going to kill everything. With the extra damage we've got, that's like really, really good. Why have you got so much stress? Is it just from that last battle? Oopsie, I didn't realise you were so stressed out. More scouting. Ooh, a secret room discovered. Awesome. I'll hold off on the secret room until later, though. Uh, we got Curia, 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 quest location. Okay. Good, good. Don't know what that does. Don't touch it, you fool. You idiot. <laughs> As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Don't you dare touch this. This is for her. A handsome reward. Let's get all the money we can here. Well this must do not ruin this for us. Good. Back we go. We'll do the quest first and then come back for anything else, I think. It clears up an inventory slot, doesn't it? We should be able to easily clear all the stuff we need to, but still, I'd rather play around it and get the quest done first. Yeah, this really has been a week for us, hasn't it? A secret room there, that could be really good for us. I'll also turn off the lights before we do that as well. Don't you dare touch this. You're touching things too? You got the Black Plague, you fool. Oh, that's so bad too. Um, what What's making you, you do this? Is that intense crowing for alcohol? What, what about that says alcohol to you, really? This is not a good crew to bring out for this. Everyone's touching everything they shouldn't be goddamn touching. Don't you dare any of you touch this. It's going to be very frustrating if that keeps happening. Come out this way, do it any end up getting any money because of this. Right. See how this goes. Nice dodge on the vomit there. It's good stuff. Heal you up. Set that dodge up. The blood quickened. Reforge. What does that do again? Ah. Crits received reduced and brought as well. 
You're going to be doing stuff as well, aren't you? Not really what I wanted there, but we'll take it. Got a lot of people doing a lot of shit I don't want them to do right now. This party is very, very frustrating. What sort of damage we're we doing here? Not great damage. Because this'll... I, I was going to say this'll kill it. Didn't even nearly kill. Okay. That wasn't great. Comet coming in for more stress. That'll clear the bleed as well there, so I'll do that. This crew isn't very good at killing things quick, I don't think. Got that 20% pro. Don't attack him. God damn it. Anya, why? Oh, Anya. Don't keep getting hit, please. Oh, for God's sake. Whoever's in this position is always the absolute most targeted person I've learned. Broken. Maintain the offensive. That was good. Yeah, we got the bleed as well. Awesome. Inspiration Luckily, we should be able to heal up a lot of this. Do, look, it just... Every single time they go for that one. Every single time. Like, and again. Whoever's in second slot just gets the brunt of it. Another abomination Let's kill. Cleansed from Unfortunately, we've left this guy to last, which is not good at all. You leave this guy to last, you can do a really brutal attack that hurts pretty fucking badly, so... Might have uh, accidentally missed the mark on that there. Hopefully this amount of dodge will help us just dodge it. Yes, good. That attack there is really brutal. Good damage there, good damage. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. A lot of potential treasures. Um, get rid of that and that. Good. More scouting, thank you. We got Curia, Curia. Quest location. Where's our last quest location? Curia. I'm confused. Don't you dare touch it, people. So, here's another quest location here. Also, do we have a prevent night of ambush here? We do. Nice. Okay. We can camp this time around. It must be here, because this isn't scouted. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just go through this way. Good. Packs laden with money. I like it. Are often low on supplies. Do a battle with treasure. Okay, take out the coal guy first this time, so he doesn't have the chance to do the hot coals move. Because that could have been bad if it hit us. It does a lot of damage. Dude, our diseases are getting out of hand. So many diseases. Go straight for him. Get that dodge up as well. Good damage. I think someone that works with hot coals would be a bit more immune to the flames, but... I'm not going to complain. Oh, and you went for the guy with the first as well. You fool. The falls, the now we go for this little dude. And the drums guy. We're going to be taking all the stress here, but... Actually, like I say, we, we should be, but we're dodging a lot of it. The dodges today have just been absolutely on point. A little bit of stress removal there. Nice crit. Awesome. Nice dodge as well. Lower that accuracy a little bit. Nice push them back to. Don't think the drums affects. Okay, it does affect accuracy. Okay, nice. Wouldn't have expected it to, but God, it does. It's gonna move us. Yep. Yeah. Actually, that wasn't too bad. It did stun us though, but we don't need healing too badly right now, so not terrible. Yeah, the kill. As the enemy crumbles. This expedition at least promises success. That the way is lit. The path is clear. And we require only here, the so strength to follow it. Don't touch that this time. Doing really well money-wise. Ah, oh, I've just 
completely didn't even acknowledge that trap. Got a new inventory slot now available. Right, so what, what have we got left on the map? We got couriers up that way, we've got a courier here, we've got a battle there. We'll just do the battle. In Radiance, may we find victory. Not a particularly fun battle, but we got the surprise though, that's nice. I'm not so worried with the battles when we have this high healing and this high dodge. They're not as huge of a concern as they would be normally. I'm gonna minus all that accuracy here. I think that'll help out. It's only two rounds, but dodge plus that is pretty good. That's a stun. Stress is getting a little out of hand here. Unfortunately, no dodges thus far. Let's kill you, though. That's good. This guy's in the back. We need to take him out. When we get the chance. The minus accuracy didn't do jack shit, did it? <laughs> really didn't help at all. Gonna have to take this guy out first. Unfortunately, this guy's stuck at the back. Branding that guy as well, that's not good. Getting a lot of extra stats there. I was hoping to take out that body there to bring him closer, but it didn't really work out. Keep that top topped up. We'll do some stress healing after this. Keep the dodges going. Dude! The diseases are out of hand right now. To be fair, he does have minus 75 disease resist, so that's kind of why? This guy's gonna be alive last again, isn't he? He's forging him again. This guy's hella strong right now. I need these guys to come forward a bit. Nice. Really need to dodge those red hot coals when they come in. Getting these bodies out of the way is taking a while and it's a pain in the ass. Dude, this thing's buffed up like crazy right now. Oh damn, that was a very big hit. Oh my god! What the hell? This is crazy! Minus disease resist, minus disease resist. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect it to get this bad. I know this area is known for having more diseases, but come on now. Getting ridiculous. Oh, we got the uh, hammer and tongs here. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious. Extra killer. crit, less speed, less damage. Friendly skill, add prop on crit buff self with extra damage. Very interesting. Take that most certainly. Didn't know if I wanted to go for this fight. Kind of regret it considering you got another one of these guys, but hey her. Go for him first. Really need to do some stress healing, but my health is actually not great right now. I definitely want to take him out now, he's been branded as well. Probably going to take a lot more diseases here. Stress is getting out of hand too. Good, good. Diminished. Did a bit of damage to ourselves there, but I think it was worthwhile. 27 damage. Okay, this guy still left. I'm going to have to take out this body and take out him next. The repose killed him. No, that's not good. That's not good. Please dodge. Please dodge. The calls are going to be very, very problematic. Ah, we didn't dodge. It wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest, but still not good. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? 
Right, I think we're at a point now where we can get the hell out of here. So let's uh, let's do a camp. A moment of respite. Do all of that. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. That, and then. Not really have a lot, a lot of good stuff here. Produce a random trinket. Yes. Okay. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Let's kill the light. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. We got ourselves. This, which is pretty good. Armor piercing is nice. Some good stuff there. Honestly, get rid of that. I'm not going to use that. Okay, get the hell out of here. Robbed of their writings, the swine will grow ever more ignorant. If such a thing were possible. Got a level four now, baby. Another. Oh my god, our diseases are just out of control. Twisting right. No longer exhale the I need to go unequip, do that, and then first things first. Viara, you're fine. You've got annoying diseases, but not the worst. Anya needs to get in the medical ward. Cures by itself over time. Okay, so we'll get rid of this one then. And then Artemis just, just has everything. Cures itself over time. Get rid of that then as well. Okay. Not bad. We'll see if we want to bring anyone else on here. We've got an exorcist. We'll bring on an exorcist. Awesome. We've been waiting for one of them for a, a while. Man in a robe. Claiming communion with the divine. Madness. Good stuff. Um, and yeah, let's get into our last diary entries before we end off the episode. So we have one from Lamica. Uh, this is for Blaze Dekar. Um, Dear No. I can't do this. Not as I used to write them. Not for a situation like this. When I first heard they would face that butcher and her circus, I was generally considering ask, um, considering to ask them to um, desist from this mission for their safety's sake. But and an a stay. Oh wait, sorry, I read that wrong. But and then a stain is left by a broken bottle of ink that covers this part. At Eileen, cursed by her name, she insists on her grandiose display of bloodshed above their lives, and now look at them. Broken, not only in body, but mind, their souls closer than ever before to oblivion. I never knew Kimber much, personally, but just by taking a glance at her, you could easily comprehend that she was better than all of us. Now here, her head lies in one of the countless pikes on the outskirts of that damned bloody, uh, blood-stained tent. I just heard the wrathful yelling of a broken man outside. The wretched monster seeks asylum in the church. No, Kimber's rest is more important. More valuable than the rat staining the abbey's hall confines with her presence. Blaise de Car. Very interesting. And then we have two more to go. Okay, let's get through these. So another one here uh, by Penn Simmons. The night after. Renetta sits in the tavern, nervous around the crowd she's been avoiding for weeks. They're all silent. A light uh, left the world. One who never ca uh, courted death like many of the others here. They all feel it. She was a healer who never sought to harm any other. They knew she was something special. Renetta knows she deserves the rest of the righteousness. Right, rest of the righteous? Righteousness. Is, I, I can't read. Renetta, through a shaky voice, starts singing. Little one, the sun waits for thee. The warmth cares for thee. As you take your leave, little one, breathe three, mighty sun. Take her in with you, safe among the sky so blue. Make her new, to fly in the clouds we view. The night took her in violence, the night to get into the silence. Carry her to the song of day, into your arms to stay. Very nice. And the last one here is the ordinary report. This might be Mean Police. In the Sunday afternoon, one of the captains of the Hamlet's town guard came to Basilla's office with another report. 
He knocks on the door three times, then begins to wait for him to be called into the office. However, there was no response, even when the captain waited for half a minute. Lady Basilla, are you there? said captain, and knocked three times again. Silence and response again. For the light's sake, where is she this time? Without waiting for an answer, the captain entered Basilla's office, an empty office. Lady of the Hamlet was absent once again. The captain puts his report on the table and leaves. She probably went on an expedition again. I'm too busy to keep all, um, order in this light's forsaken place. I'm not her personal assistant. The report called Guard Captain Oliver, Lafayette's Patrol Report. Among various not very uh, among various not very remark unremarkable things containing the following. On Friday, close to midnight, one of the patrolmen got sick, so I had to report him and go around the surroundings between the grove and the city. After a while, at about one o'clock in the morning, I noticed a human silhouette in the darkness who was slowly walking towards the town, dragging something behind him. Carefully approaching a little closer, I was slightly shocked when I saw who it was. The townspeople and your mercenaries tell a lot of stories about different creatures of the dark. However, this was the first time I'd seen this. It was a tall woman with deathly pale skin who was dragging a sword behind her, dressed in a very expensive dress and wearing a massive mask. The dress was very old, shabby and smeared with dirt and blood. Massive iron mask or whatever that headgear um, is hides half of her face. The sword she was dragging behind her also stained with blood and mud and it was the size of her height. A woman, or what, um, or what was once a person, was breathing heavily and moving with the last of her strength. As soon as it took another step towards her, she turned her head in my direction, stretching out his hand in my direction and shouting with the last breath, a barely audible, help me. She fell to the ground. I quickly ran for backup. Together with the guards, we took the body to the dungeon and gave the sword to the blacksmith. Two people were dra uh, dragging the sword. I did not care to execute this lady on the spot. If that, is, um, if that is hostile to us, she may be useful as an object of research. In the dungeon, she is securely locked and chained. I am waiting for your further notes. Great stuff. Great stuff. And a much better episode than last time. Our money's looking a lot better. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. We have um, a cataphrac and a priest, um, our exorcist for next time as well. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.